Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival, the Star Salvage scenario. I have been a busy bee working on a few things. Ooh, that was weird. Uh, is it going to be a laggy episode today? It might be, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, what have I been working on? I have actually been back out into space. I went and got loads of... Uh, I found Saskosium, but, you know... Um, it turns out I ended up doing something weird to, uh, in order to build the Hellfire missile thing, whatever it's called, which I will show you shortly. Uh, in order to, so I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't originally have enough Saskosium. So what I did is I basically got rid of a load of large optronic bridges, and then spawned in uh, using the item menu console command some Saskosium ingots. That was kind of my trade-off. I made sure to get rid of a lot more of these. I had about twenty-eight or so of these. Uh, I really didn't need to go to that many, but I thought, no, let's, let's consider it payment, shall we? I also sold some of them as well, um, so that I have a load of credits that I can buy pentaxid or whatever I need. Um, but the Hellfire Missile, which I'll go up and show you in a moment, actually on the ship. The ammo, take a look at this for the ammo for it. It is... yeah, that's it. The Hellfire Missile produces a thousand a time. It needs raw diamonds, hence why we've got a thousand raw diamonds there, just so I have plenty. Um, we need Sathium plates, Titanium plates, Steel plates, Fusion cells, that's the thing I'm missing here, and a lot of Magnesium powder, which I have plenty of, just about, and Arrestrum gel, which I also have. Uh, I've gone down, I've, I think I've halved my Arrestrum amount there. Uh, but yeah, we managed to get enough for the Hellstorm missile turret, but uh, yeah, I, I did have to sort of kind of cheat, although it turns out I wouldn't have needed to cheat anyway, so if anything I made it more expensive for myself after finding some uh, Saskosium. So all we need now is the Promethean pellets for the fusion cells and also the water containers uh, as well to make the fusion cells. As you can see down here I've put 10 water generators and I've used up a lot of my fuel actually fueling that so uh, you better deliver results. Uh, yeah we've got about 55 fusion cells I believe it is. That's all we've got currently in the bank. Now if we have a look up here, here it is. Here is the big beastie resting its head on top here. That is a monster cannon. That's the standard rocket right there. This is, uh, this is monstrous. Is this bigger than a regular artillery? I don't know, maybe it's not. It's probably just the size. I think this is actually just the artillery turret. Uh, but this is, I guess, gonna launch tons and tons of rockets at a stupidly quick rate. I didn't get a good look at the specs, so we're gonna have that be a surprise. Now I realise I showed you that this time, we're probably not going to see how it works this time because today's video, with the uh, the help of Dom in the comment section in a previous video, we're actually going to be finishing the exploration PDA, assuming rank 7 is the final one. Uh, well, let's reactivate it, we need to find the cursed planet and he has given us some help, so blah blah blah, yep, darkened eye, refer to a black hole. We will indeed look for one. I do indeed have a bad feeling about this. Because it turns out, from our starting zone, I don't know why, but having territory still seems to help me here. We explored, let's find the one that we explored. There it is, Bodu. Black hole. There's one right there called Vertron. That is one jump away. Like, it was right there, and we didn't spot it. <laughs> so thanks, Don, for that. Uh, we can actually finish it, because I really want to finish it. But we're not going to do this in our capital vessel. No, 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 no. We're going to do it the way the game kind of, uh, I guess why the creator kind of wanted me to do it, I would imagine. But in the little scout ship that we used earlier in the campaign, there it is. I've actually given it a little bit of a sprucing up, so it's got some gun power. Look at this, couple of gats on it. I've sorted out the insides a bit here. Oh, okay, that was weird. Added some ammo storage. We've got bit of ammo in there, we've got RCS, I built a few, uh, uh, what do you call it, there you go, CPU compressors, so that it actually takes off some of the CPU, I think a thousand a piece, we could have done more, uh, but this is all we need, we're under 15,000 again, couple of uh, turrets, that's enough, power on, before we go though, you, if you look at my toolbar, you'll see I've got three legendary items, how does that work, how does that work, well this is the epic shotgun, Epic Pulse Rifle. I've also got some ammo for it. Oh, we're bringing it on the Junk Turret as well, I should point out. <laughs> should be fantastic. Uh, that's the last energy bar. 
and I've built this, the Heavy Sniper Tier 3. This is something you can get if you go down the combat tree, it costs about 250 points to unlock. Take a look at the ammo type, 15mm bullets, that's why I've got some 15mm bullets on me. This thing does 150 more damage than the regular sniper, and I don't know about the rest of the stats, how well they fare up to be honest, so let's see how much ammo you have. In there, I'd love to test it on something actually. <laughs> I wonder how much a regular sniper would have done. Don't know. Good to use it. Uh, so that was fun. Let's close the door. I think we're basically ready to go. So, here we are. Oh yes, oh, you do not have a lot of upthrust right now, do you? Do you have the Graviton Thruster on, though? It is. The gravity drive is on. That's fine. Oh yeah, the Graviton Drive is for forward, isn't it? So yeah, we're better off doing it this way. Of course, Graviton Drive is like, uh, it's more two-dimensional. And yes, this has some thrusters, which just kind of aid you. You can actually fly this thing without the thrusters altogether if you want to save on some fuel. Uh, we've got some fuel with us, so we can afford to have it on thrusters. Go for maximum performance. All right, Vertron. Let's lock onto it. And be on our way. There we are. And... Oh, man! <laughs> Maximum's 20. Okay, what's near it? This looked quite near it. Yeah, that's near it. So this is 18, so we have to make a double jump. I've got some spare pentaxid with me, so this isn't a problem. Maximum's 15! Come on, man. Give me some... <laughs> Give me some leeway here. Uh... Huh. 15.8. 11. There we go. 16. Just trying to think what's the root here. 11. 11, 11, and then, oh, just about 14.9. Okay, so we're going to go this way around from Procedure. Let's follow this Procedure then. Uh, where, have we, where is it? What on earth is going on? Okay, there. All right. Whoop out. I'll see you when I get there. Oh, I've been going the wrong way. What am I doing with myself? I was meant to go to Brenin. Renane. <laughs> Good thing I brought out extra pentaxid. Uh, I'm a muppet. I could just edit this out and act like I did nothing wrong, but no. Nah, nah. Let me show off my mistakes. Okay, so here is the black hole. We come to the cursed planet now, which must be this Jewel of Vertron. Ain't that a name? Anything? Orbiting here, there is a random science satellite. That is something that they appear to have added to the game, is stuff is actually orbiting the uh, suns or the former stars in the galaxy. So that's pretty cool. Most of them are just sort of, I don't know, little wreckages, at, like science stations, very small ones, like uninhabited ones, as it were. Think of the stuff we're sending out now as humanity, those little tiny satellites, stuff like that. Okay. Here we go, to Jewel of Vertron. Hopefully we'll get some acknowledgement that we're approaching the cursed planet. Did the music change? I believe it did. We've also got stuff on the map, it would appear. Whoa, big ding planet, that is. No, we're just very close. That is also a massive planet. Goodness me, we've got Xerax. We want everyone. It's a freaking party here. Okay, so another reason why we're using this ship is because we can't actually go down there in a capital vessel anyway. Is that the one that's really close? That's the one that's really close. Bit scary, actually. We've got everyone. The Creel. I think the Polaris were about as well. Pirates, that is, actually. A couple of pirates. And there is Polaris. 
Everyone's here. Even the traders, I think, had a ship somewhere. Yeah, look. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. What have you got for me? Uh huh. I'm detecting unusual energy coming from this planet. The energy seems to be alive. Yeah, I need my um I need my ship back. I suppose you find Okay, whatever. Oh, get out of the alt mode. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> That's something they need to work on, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't want to crash into the ground. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, deposits of our basic resources. Very interesting. Planet size, very large. You don't say. Low gravity, that's good. Okay, we need to find the source of this energy, apparently. Uh, this could take quite a long time. Oh my, this could take a very long time. Uh, what are the green ones? Those were ghosts, weren't they? That's what we found out, I think. Maybe we just sort of pick a direction. We're going to have to do some sort of systematic search here. Uh, maybe it's already on the map for me. No, it's not. Uh, oh, hang on. We've already got past a uh, crashed capital vessel. Oh, I don't know, let's just go to the freaking this one over here. Have a look what this is about. Whoa. Some of these look uh, pretty good. Oh. That's got a... Jesus. Whoa. That's got turrets on it. Ghost ship. And it turns out the ghosts don't like us, guys. Uh, they will haunt you. They will haunt you. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into orbit here. Uh, not orbit, just a bit higher. And pretty much go back to the PDA and have a look. Locate the source of the eerie energy emanating from the cursed planet. This could take a long time. <laughs> Very long time. Do need to be careful I... Don't... Oh my gosh, that's ripe for the picking. So many wreckages, look, full bases, drone bases right there. An ancient flying machine. What the devil is this? All of this? This is insane. So much there. Some of these bases look like they are potentially in very good condition. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess uh, the only thing I can do now really is plod along the middle. And hope it's somewhere on the middle, and then, um, I don't know, we're just going to have to... <laughs> this is going to be my entire evening, isn't it? Good thing I'm recording this the day before I s this comes out, as opposed to on the day. Because I really wouldn't have time for all of this. Ugh. Well, since we're cruising around here like this, we might as well turn this into a little bit of a podcast and uh, give an update on what we're going to be doing next in the world of Imperion. Uh, so I briefly mentioned in a comment uh, to you, Spoon, in a previous vi uh, previous video, <clears throat> excuse me, that's uh, going to be starting a new playthrough soon. I'm thinking maybe this week, possibly next week, carrying on Star Salvage, maybe do a third week as well. After that, I want to start fresh. And we're going to be looking at Project Eden, even though a lot of the updates are uh, related to uh, the story and whatnot. Uh, but to be honest, I really want—I really want to give Project Eden a go for the advanced advanced challenge you get at the start, because you've got a number of different scenarios. It's something they've been working on for a very long time. The uh, people that mod that Raven, I think it is, isn't it? And I just want to see how far it's come. I've watched Spangers play through a couple of times, I think twice, two different playthroughs. One, just a standard um, Project Eden a while ago. And then one was a, uh, what's the other mode that you can do this? It, it re Reforged, that's it, Reforged, the other way to play, Imperion. Which, to be honest, is probably the better way. Like, I don't know why I don't play it yet. I think it's because redesigning everything... I have redesigned a lot of things for reforged compatibility. I just I just don't have any advanced things at the moment for it. Uh, which I do need to work on. Uh, yeah, so I want to do just a standard Project Eden normal mode. And then I want to do a separate reforged mode. Maybe again in Project Eden following that. So I might have two more playthroughs planned. Um, obviously, 
it'll be consecutive. So that'll probably take us uh, through to the end of the year, I imagine. Uh, and I also want to do a creative video because I've been working on a very interesting build. Very interesting build that I'm quite liking. I've got the outer shell and the insides of it all mapped out and ready to just, well, really be textured at this point. The whole thing just needs texturing, which to be honest takes just as long as building, to be honest. Uh, especially as I'm not much of an interior designer, designer shall we say. Uh, let's just make sure we don't get shot by that ship. That's the ship that's alive, isn't it? With guns on it. Hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, so yeah, um, I want to do a creative mode, and I'm also... Basically, the thing I've been working on is a very interesting, I suppose, endgame... Yeah, well, really, if it's tier 4, it's endgame, isn't it? Uh, tier 4 HV, but it's not for combat. It's, uh, let's just call it the Planetary Harvester. Uh, it does look quite cool, and I think that's going to be a workshop build at some point. And I also want to work on a capital vessel that will be able to uh, take this HV to various planets. So, yeah, between the two of those, it should be able to handle, well, the whole of the universe, really. But we'll see. Uh, that's only going to be a tier 2 capital vessel. I'm looking to build something asymmetrical, which is something I've not done before. At least to my knowledge. Maybe I have, well, by accident, like if I made a boo-boo, which I have done in the past when I first started building and didn't use symmetry mode. Still nothing. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll see We'll see how that turns out. I've not even started that capital vessel yet. I've just got a rough idea of what I'm looking for, but I don't know. It's, it's in its very early conceptual stages in my head. Uh, so yeah, hopefully at some point when I get the time, I'll do a little creative video and I'll throw that in on a Sunday. Uh, but yeah, we're going to probably do two to three more weeks of this, assuming I can find this damn thing in time before tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, this is... This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, this planet. I might have to stop recording it now. So that way I have time to record some XCOM. And look for this off camera and then start recording again tomorrow, which is on the Saturday. When I've actually found it and then we can finish it off. That's probably a better idea actually. That's probably a better idea. Uh, yeah, so I will get back to you once I have found it. That's the end of our little, I don't know, update on what the, uh, the what we're doing on the channel when it comes to Imperion. Uh, yeah, we ain't done with Imperion yet. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a bit worried about it, but I think I've uh, I found my mojo again and I'm really getting back into it. So uh, yeah, we've got plenty more to come, plenty more to come. All right, I'll see you when we find this eerie energy source. Okay, well, change of plan. I decided to use the um, the map console command in order to get the location of it. It's actually down here somewhere, but for some reason it won't actually show it. Um, I don't know why. Whenever you put the marker down, but yeah, uh, that's what I've decided to do instead. Uh, yeah, otherwise I probably would have gone north first and checked. I don't know if I was going to start from the very poles. I think I was thinking of doing that, so maybe I would have come across it sooner than expected, but yeah. Anyway, uh, right, we've got eight kilometers to go. So while we're doing this, let's actually read the description So, uh, of this planet. The Jewel of Vertron was once a beacon of hope in an ever-darkening galaxy. As the only planet in the Vertron system, the planet became a hub of activity, with citizens of every faction settling down on the unusually massive temperate planet. The Jewel of Vertron became home to any who are willing to set aside their differences and live in peace. Can you imagine that? The Xerax, Polaris, everyone, just here. Mm. However, everything changed when the discovery of an ancient alien ziggurat, which is where we're off to. Um, when archaeologists attempted to explore the structure, they unleashed an evil force that began to ravage the world. Normally, peaceful creatures began attacking in force. Even the technology of the world began to turn on the inhabitants. Soon the world became an abandoned planet where no living creatures remained, except those twisted by evil forces. And of course, capital vessels are not allowed to enter this planet. So there we go, we've got a pretty uh, ominous description there. So the ghost faction, in fact, is a result of this. Whatever this cursed cigar it is, it's because of this. Um, I'm glad I've not witnessed too much of a frame rate drop, actually. Good, good. I mean, 
there's so much around. You kind of figured there would be, right? Uh, but no, we got quite lucky, so uh, that is good. All right, let's uh, take a look at what we got down here. It's not this, but we should be able to see it soon. It'll be just down there. It was just down here. Oh no, maybe this is it. Oh, hello, maybe it is. Nope, it's not. It's a ramshackle hover vessel. Right, let's just uh, get rid of that waypoint. And instead, get back up. Get a bit of height. Should have it down here somewhere. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely on the right track now. There it is. That's it there. Can we get rid of this, please? Okay, that's staying forever now. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, right, where are we going? We want to go to this. This is it here. Oh my gosh. Better be careful. That capital vessel can shoot us, I think. Something down there can. Hello! Mercy me, look at that thing! Isn't that a big beastie? Are those turrets? Those kind of do look like turrets. Can we sneak in behind it? I believe we can. It seems the eerie energy is coming from that ziggurat. Perhaps if you have a full team of, <laughs> of a, a soldier, engineer, medic, you might be able to get in and figure out how to stop it. You serious? You need like a full team of people for this POI? Oh gosh, I really hope not. Uh, okay. Let me take a look and see if there's anything else in the PDA. Solo missions. Doesn't appear there is. No, there is nothing else. Alright, we've done it. We've officially completed the exploration tree. Uh, but I don't think we're done here yet. So let's see if we can in fact... Can we get high enough so they can't shoot us? Kind of. Yes, we can. Brilliant. Alright, we're going to do this the jammy way. So glad I put turrets on this thing. Could take a while though. Only two, uh, two gats on it. How are we doing for fuel? We're fine. Yeah, everything's okay. Perhaps I could have put some sort of uh, shielding on this. There is a, a type of shielding in the exploration tree which uses some weird ingredients. Uh, but uh, it appears we don't need it. Just got to get rid of these two turrets and we can go and explore. Okay, this is currently used about 400 rounds. Oh my gosh. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it uses close to 500 then. Alright, there we go. Do some parking. This is a big structure, isn't it? Oh, hello. There's like guards out, out in front of it. I assume they're just. Nope, they are. <laughs> they're real. Assault cyborgs. Alright, well. Can't assault me if I assault you first. I thought maybe they were just. Uh, idle models, but nope, they were not. Interesting, there's going to be robotic-y stuff in here by the looks of it. Good for, for a lot of epic weapons, right? Hmm, we've got medical supplies. Don't really have anything to Born. Enter a lock code. Are you serious right now? Uh, huh. Really? There's a lock code for this apparently. 
I assume maybe you get that from another tree. No, I don't even know where you would get that from. Oops, bloody hell. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. not. <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't fair. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can blow it up. With, I don't know, a rocket. I did nothing, did it? Uh, okay, we are going to go just to get ourselves inside. Oh, bloody hell. Um, what the devil is this? Oh, this is all glass. What? Yeah, this is a window. This is trippy. There's a sensor over there. I can't stop it. Probably just going to be god moding around here, to be honest. Oh, I saw the other one. The end there, right? Okay. That's taken up a lot of my health. This is just like nothing I've ever seen before. This is trippy. <laughs> so trippy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, there can't be any trap doors, right? Because these are all windows. Is that a lever? It is. Don't know the. Hey! Jeez, that, that was, uh. That was, uh, scary. Those assault cyborgs are really tough, you know? Okay. Do you know what? Let's bring out the old pulse rifle, yeah? Don't even. <laughs> that just reset everything. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't pull the levers in that building, guys. <laughs> if you explore this thing for yourself. Oh, okay. All right, med kit. And then we'll god mode our way back in there because... Yeah, I, I'm not going to take any loot. That's certainly not fair. But I want to have a good look at what this POI is because it's probably the only time we're going to really have a look at it. Uh, you obviously do need a full team of people to... to take this horrible structure on. Right, let's get all the med kit, medical -ness out. Uh, alright. So we were here. This here. More stuff spawned there. Stuff respawned in here. Out of interest, what was the loot? Okay, another epic shotgun. Pretty cool. What have we been shot by this time? That there. Next room here. You guys were there. A bit random, this. Very jarring. Oh, hello. We've got stairs going up. Let's say we made it up here. What else would we find? Centuries. Oh, hello. That would have been nasty. 
Classic turret corridor trap. Oh my goodness. Look at all these sensors as well. Take refuge in here. Okay. Huh. Okay, so you switch the faction of it. Okay, interesting, by the looks of it. So that you can use it. Even more. <laughs> There's just even more sentry turrets. That is, uh... Disgusting. This would be amazing in co-op, wouldn't it? Oh wow, hello. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. Multiple golems. Armoured gigas. Anything in the middle here? No. Going up some more. Door going back down. Another place to uh, pick up some medical supplies. Interesting. Got some stuff here. Again, I won't take it. Not fair. We're just having a look. Seeing what this POI is about. Okay, let's say you found the code to get down here. Oh, this takes you all the way down. Right, yeah. And then you get this horrible maze. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's view it from up here. So this is just where you can find various uh, bits of loot, isn't it? Oh, nice. You'd get gold, a plasma, an epic plasma rifle, small electronic bridge. That's something, I guess. You've got... Hello? No shooty? Oh, okay, yep, you do want to shoot. Okay, so there's... That's interesting. Oh, here you go, here's the big loot. There you go. Auto miners, optronic bridges, more auto miners and gold. Pretty cool. I take it this was all the top of the POI that we've all seen now. There, it doesn't go up any higher. No, it doesn't. That is the top of it. Wow. Can you really sleep it off? No. <laughs> didn't think so. Okay, well, isn't that pretty awesome? Uh, good thing we didn't really properly attempt it, but it's just amazing to see this thing. I mean, it's, it's disgusting. <laughs> this is a very tough POI. This increasingly more difficult turret situation here. Sentry gun situation is absolutely horrible. Uh, what's this floor? about. Is this just empty space? I think it is. Yeah, I believe that is just empty space. Really cool design as well, I will say. Really cool design. So there you go, that's the exploration tree and that's what you get at the end of it. That disgusting structure right there. Um, amazing looking thing, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. This is a really cool mod for co-op. It really is uh, a brilliant play. And you can have different roles. I think you definitely need at least, I don't know, maybe at least three of you. I mean, we <laughs> maybe we could have used that little, uh, you know what? We're not gonna. But I guess the junk turret. Also, you have to work out how to get in inside the thing. Now, maybe I've just missed something. Uh, yeah, this little asset here, the junk turret. Minigun, just throw some ammo into it. Really cool idea, this. Yeah. Throw, the, throw a bunch of those in there. Ah. Oh. I guess it would be doable with one person if you just keep loading it up with ammo. Park this on top. Load it up with tons and tons of ammo and tons and tons of turrets as well. So you've got them all over the place. You should be okay. Now those turrets are not very well concealed, or, or rather the uh, its insides are not very well concealed. You need a little bit of armor around it, I think. It did look like the fuel tank could have been shot and the generator could have been shot pretty much instantly. Okay, so there we have it. That was awesome. 
Let's actually switch it back to the old combat. Activate, destroy a hundred space drones, which is actually going to be our next job. But we're not going to be doing that this time, I'm afraid. That's going to be uh, next week. Yes, sorry. Uh, it's a shame we couldn't find any, any Prometheum. I mean, I'm sure if we looked around all of the different um, structures, maybe I would have found some Prometheum. I think I'm just going to spawn in some Prometheum and say that I bought it en masse and get rid of more of those. Um... Large Optronic Bridges. I mean, they're worth so much, I'd have been able to buy all the Prometheum I ever needed with it, if I wanted. Um, oh, okay, where am I? I don't feel safe, I know that much. I am safe. Okay, the Tesha here as well, look. Bear in mind, Legacy's now light blue. Not like that blue, but kind of more of a, I don't know. A strange sort of boot. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's let, let's get out of here. Uh, I don't feel safe. I don't feel welcome anymore. Uh, so I think I came back this way. Let me just make sure. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's go. Oh, we need more pentaxid. Indeed, we do. All right then. I really hope we've got enough. Yeah, we've got plenty. Excellent stuff. Okay, let's just get some, get away from the planet for a moment. All right, and we should be safe from here on. Ah, home sweet home. Isn't that just great? All right, well, I'm pretty much going to leave it here for this time, I think. There's uh, nothing else to really cover in the exploration tree. Next time we will go down the combat tree. So I teased you with the uh, the turret, the Hellfire turret. It's a little snack. Uh, yeah, so we're going to yeah we're gonna give it a full run. I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of ammo for it. I think I'll probably do 2,000 ammo. I'm sure that'll... I don't, I don't know what its rate of fire is. I really don't. I could check it out. I could... Um, retrieve it and then place it down again, but I kind of want to be surprised by it. I want, I want it to be pure surprise. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to head into Xerax space to test it out um, and yeah, just cause some mayhem. So uh, yeah, once again, thank you very much uh, for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.